Wow, the PSP is such a cool console, but I wish I had more games for this. What you got there, sir? Uh, nothing, officer. That's Officer K to you. I'm just playing on my PSP. You wouldn't try modding the PSP, would you? What is up everybody? It is your boy Khalil NXP back at it again with another video and today we are doing a how-to video. How to mod your PlayStation Portable. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to system settings, system information, and what you want to see is, see, system software, it is on version 6.39. What we need is 6.61 uh, system software. The only way to get that is by going onto the internet. Okay, the next step after you typed in uh, PSPPunk.com, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to PSP. And from there, you click on update PSP system software to three uh, 6.60 slash 6.61. Okay, it says read carefully, have at least 60% battery life, make sure the battery will not fall out, keep the charger plugged in. And that's what we have right over here. See, if you, the thing is, if you try to do this and the PSP dies, you could potentially brick your system. So full warning, do not do that while it's not charging. That is where this cord comes into play. So what you're going to do is you're going to hook up this to your PSP and hook up the USB part to your computer here. Once you have the PSP hooked up to the computer, it should pop up this on your computer. Once we go into game, PSP game, we're going to make a new folder called update and then enter. So now you have a new folder. Once you've created your folder for the update, what you're going to do is you're going to go directly to uh, PSP 6.61. You're going to click that. And this is going to be the download thing for you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, click it. Click this. And drag it to the update file. And it's downloading. And there we go. Uh, guys, one thing I need to remind you to do is when you are putting this, like once you finally download this update, what you want to do is you want to actually change it from this 6.61.pbp to eboot.pbp. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right here in this folder. I went to update, PSP game, went to update, and then I changed it from that, from whatever was 6.61. I changed it now to ebook and I'm going to enter that. Now that I did that, it should be able to read it on my PSP. Let me show you that right now. Go to memory stick. Okay, PSP update six version 6.61. Now what you want to do is you actually want to download that. See? Okay, uh, PSP system software version 6.61. Start. Okay, now we have officially updated it to 6.61. Now let's check the system settings, just to check to make sure we actually have the correct information on the system software. See, update version 6.61. Now we can officially include the custom firmware onto this. Do you want to format the memory stick? Yes. This is the, the only reason why I'm doing this is so that way I can actually include more games and stuff. When I start uh, applying all data on the memory stick will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Let's just enter formatting. Now that we updated this, let's go to PSP custom firmware guide. We're going to download ARC4. See ARC zip this. And what we're going to do is we're going to unzip. Extract all the save data that goes arc that goes into save data. Boom, it's downloading. Downloaded okay. Arc loader goes into game folder, right? Yeah, arc loader goes into game folder. So arc loader gets dragged and dropped into game folder. 
Next thing you want to do is you want to go to memory stick, uh, press circle, and then you're going to see arc loader. What you want to do is accept, press cir circle again. It's going to go through the system of like, you know, loading arc four, exploit files, blah, blah, blah. Along the lines of go to system settings, go to information system information and then it should say 6.61 arc 4 live that means that it is officially modded but you have one more step in order to make it permanent okay so remember that that arc 4 folder that you recently downloaded and unzipped well what you want to do is you want to click on that again in order to make the mod completely permanent you want to go to uh arc 4 you want to go to psp you want to go to ARC4 CLPL, and then what you want to do is you want to copy that into the game folder. Let me, let me click and drag to the game folder on your PSP. So now ARC slash CLPL, I mean CILPPL, whatever. <laughs> It's now officially downloaded to your PSP. Now you want it to go to the memory stick, back to the memory stick of the game folder. Uh, hit accept on CLPL flasher. And it's going to give you a list. It's going to say, uh, do you want to download the new one? Or do you want to download, see, look, install CPL, restore the original IPL. So you want to install, so that's X you want to click. Now your PSP is officially modded. Okay, so after you downloaded the CLPL flasher, what you want to do is you want to check system information just to know that it it is official that you have it permanently modded for your PSP. And that is the video for you guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below exactly what was your favorite part of this video. And consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. My name is Kalo NXP. We're NXP gang. And until next time, we're out. <laughs>